Hey everyone, so we're back. I'm doing a little November Rewind monthly spread. So that's what's happening. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm like really into it. So what we're using, um, I freaking love this kit because it's cute. This is from Planning Choco. She's my girl. Um, I love like the, I don't know, I just love everything in this kit. I print out this notes page that I'm not gonna use. I don't know why. Whatever. And then I have my Wacky Holidays from Ramona and Friends. If you have a silhouette at home and you like to mark Wacky Holidays and your monthly planner, or you think it'd be cute to wa mark Wacky Holidays in your monthly planner, girl, you better go buy this. It's only a dollar. It's only a dollar. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Um, so I've only done like one other plan with me in this and uh, like for monthly I'm feeling a little nervous because the lines are non-existent really so yeah that's how I'm feeling I'm a little nervous about it I'm a little lot nervous so let's let's just jump into it let's do it um, this is a really big box so hopefully that helps us I don't know if it will or n will not we shall see we shall see. This is like super like shiny kind of on the back. I don't know. I'm just like... So we're gonna line this up. I don't know how I'm gonna line it up on the other side. I think is my problem. Are there little flags that I need to, need to pay attention to? Or white out? White out. Why haven't I thought of that? Probably because I can't read white out from where I'm sitting. I mean, it matches. It's not like it doesn't match. Okay, all right. Ooh, that looks pretty, right? It looks pretty. It looks pretty. I need to stop doing that. I feel like that's not uh, appropriate. Okay. And then we have this. Which I'm not sure how we line this up. How do we line this up though? Do we just line it with the other one? Do we like eyeball it? Do we line it with that? Is that how we line it? Oh no. How do we know how to do this? is a challenge. Well, how long is this other box? It's a lot to hang on to. Let's just see it, because this is like just one really long box for the sidebar. How long is this box? Oh, fudge. Like if I were to line it with this? Okay, if I were to line it under this? Okay. Shiitake. <laughs> uh. uh. Just gonna hang on to that and this one and line it to the bottom of this. Hopefully, is this in frame? It is. Okay. Sorry, this is where my like weird angle comes in. And I hope that this doesn't look like a mess. I just loved like all the digital papers that came with this kit, like, or like whoever made this, you know what I mean? Like it's all so cute. That is kind of far over. And that may be a little crooked. We're like cutting into some of these boxes over here, but we made it, we really did it. Um, yeah. So let's mark some holidays. Okay. There's no. Oh, fudge. These cut all off. 
Is this whole page cut off or just those section? Just that section at the bottom. Yeah, these cut all sorts of fucked up. I'm gonna use it anyways. Gives it a little bit of personality. Except for Cyber Monday looks perfect. Veterans Day. Because we love veterans. We really do. I, I do love a good veteran. Alright. So those are down. Um... Do I have any November birthdays? I do not. I am going to mark this down the bottom here. So this is just like a full box to mark off December. Or, yeah, to mark off the days in December. And then it has a December monthly on it too, which I really, really like. I love that her boxes are like perfect. Just awesome. It's right. the best I can do. Okay, I think I'm gonna save this deco. Like, I don't know that I have anything to use it for, you know what I mean? So, I'm not even in frame, that doesn't matter. Who even cares? So let's mark these paydays. I get paid this day. Get paid on Black Friday, yes. Um, I get paid. I got paid this week, and then I got paid on the third. Love them triple payday months. Love them. Okay. So I got those. I don't think I have my tweezers with me, so I'm gonna like refrain on these. Um, I am going to, I'm gonna put down fall back just to cover that up. Oh, that's. And then I'm going to put one on election day as well, just because I don't want to see it. But there's, no, like, there's nothing else I really want to mark in. Well, wait. Where's my phone? Oh, it's in my pocket. BRB. Okay. So I um, put down the date dots, and I put down some other stuff. So I went in, and... Oh. It's stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. Um, so I just went in and I put down the date dots and then I put in um, just some like random purchases I made, I guess. So I refilled my Starbucks card on the first. Um, I bought some stuff from Slapcap or Grace LEA um, at, on the third. Bought um, some peel and stick tiles for uh, my kitchen backsplash on the fourth. And then fall back election day, I bought some stuff from Sephora during the VIB sale, bought my TN, and that's really all of my like frivolous purchases for this month, um, which I really think that's enough of them. That's that's a good amount. Um, so I do want to do my sidebar here 
Honestly, I normally really neg neglect my sidebar, but um, I'm, I'm trying to not. That's the plan, really. So, I'm going to start with it this month. And then I'm just going to put... Because I'm, I'm trying two new apps to save money this month. If you watch my um, my monthly budget with me, at the end I kind of talked about it. So I'm using the app called Digit, which randomly saves money. And then I'm also using Capital. Oh, I think I spelled that wrong? I don't know how to spell it. Um, and so I'm just going to put my total for how much I've saved. So today is the 18th, so we're halfway through the month. And month to date I have saved... Um, just to give you like a mid-month update here, I have $62.54 in my, um, digit account, and I already moved $14.95, so $15 into my account, so that is, um, $70, $77? I saved $77 a month, and it's the 18th. Um, but I moved the money, <laughs> funny story, I moved the money from my, um, because it'll, it'll show you on here, um, but I, funny story is I moved the money from my, my rainy day fund, which is what they call it in the digit account, um, to my account because I was telling my mom about it and she's like, how do you know your money's just not going off to South Africa somewhere or some, some crazy country where they're not using it and you just, they're just saving your money for you? That doesn't sound safe. My mom doesn't sound like that, but I mean, it makes it 10 times more interesting when I say like that. Um, and so I'm like, okay, whatever. So I literally went in, moved what money I had saved already from my capital account into my personal account, and I literally had it the next day. So it's legit, mom. It's legit. Um, <laughs> so yeah. And then for capital... What this one does is, the only rule I have set up on mine is the roundup rule, and so far I've saved, you can't see it on here, um, I've saved 33.07. Um, and how the roundup rule works is I told you about this wrong in the other video. Um, the roundup rule, if it rounds up to the nearest even dollar. So if I spent 31.75, 25 cents goes in there. But if I spend thirty seventy five, a dollar twenty five goes in there. When I when I set it to two dollars, I thought it would be no matter what I spend, it's going to be a dollar plus whatever the change. But just so you know, that's how it works. Um, so you know when I refilled my Starbucks card for fifteen dollars, it put a dollar in there because I only spent fifteen, and it's going to round up to the next even dollar. So that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that, I'm gonna track that. Um, I'm gonna put down the purchases. I know I already marked these, but I'm just gonna mark, like, my big purchases. So. And you can't see this on here, but Wayfair was 150. Sephora was 200, but that had Christmas gifts. So it's not bad. And then, and then the cool part, so just be, I, I know this is not like a budgeting monthly, but it's all coming out in this. Um, so I use um, Ebates when I shop online religiously, like religiously. Um, and I felt bad when I did my Sephora order because normally like, normally when you order it's an 8% cash back whenever they have their sales, but it's only like 2.5%. I'm like, this is so dumb. Um, and so I tried to, I tried to wait. I just wanted to see if it would go up at all. And I ended up ordering the last day of the sale and it was still two and a half percent, but whatever. But anyways, so I got my Ebates cash back check and I totally forgot that it went into my, um, uh, what's that called? PayPal account until I went to order my, um, Mystic Little Gifts traveler's notebook. So my TN was like $44 and I had $47 in my account cause I got that back. Um, from my Ebates check, so it's like my TN was free. So yeah, I'm pretty jazzed about that. 
Just letting y'all know. I would have put that in my purchases, but I didn't really pay for it. Like, not coming out of my account. Didn't even notice. And I got change back. <laughs> so, I say I let to say this. Use you some Ebates. I got a link down below. Um... I'm gonna put books down because... I don't know, I like to mark like my favorite ones that I've read in a month. And I've read a couple good ones this month. And then... I'm just gonna put notes on the last one. And then put progressive. I'm gonna be getting a renewal notice any day now. Any day now. And I have to remember to pay that. I love that it's gotten cheaper, but it still all comes out at once. And I kind of hate it, but I love it. Okay, so that's all down pretty much. And now it's time for Wacky Holidays. Oh my god. This is literally the longest monthly plan with me where I'm not even... I feel like I'm not even planning anything. I really, I really honestly, truly feel that I'm not planning anything. Okay, there we go. Now you don't have to see like the end of my thing here. Okay. Okay. I, I cannot stop saying that. Um, I'm vegan. I really like that. Okay, so we're just going to go through and I think I have room to put every single one of these down and it's going to look really busy and I think I'm going to love it. So the first was vegan day. I don't know how anybody can be vegan. Like, more power to you. I just, I know that I have zero willpower to actually do that. Um, the second was men make dinner day. And then Friday, oh, this Friday, I just read Friday. Um, the third was sandwich day. I love me a good sandwich. But I can't have bread because keto. Um, candy day was number four. Also can't have candy because sugar is also a carb. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but, um, anytime, like, if you look at the carbs in something, like, I've, I've been reading labels, like, ridiculously since I went keto, or since I'm going keto. Um, every time, there's never more car, or more sugars than carbs in something. Like, sugar is always a carb. I'm just saying. Um, so the fifth was zero tasking day. The sixth is nachos day. I love nachos. The seventh is Merlot day. I don't love Merlot, but I'll drink it. The eighth is x-ray day. I think I've only had like one x-ray in my life. The ninth is freedom day. Oh, I don't have room for that. I love freedom though. I'm just gonna switch it because this makes more sense. The tenth is windows day, but I use an, um, a Mac. And this is also Veterans Day, so Freedom Day makes more sense. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We're just going to mix it around, because who's going to know? The 11th is Origami Day. We're going to put that on the 10th, because nobody is going to know. No one knows. The 12th is Happy Hour Day. Who does not love Happy Hour? Um, World Kindness Day. Oh, I love that, but uh, yeah. Pickle day is the 14th. Clean out your fridge day. I think I may have actually cleaned out my fridge that day. Fast food day. I did not have any fast food yesterday, the Thursday. No, I didn't. 17th was take a hike day. The 18th, which is today, is Mickey Mouse day. I don't know when this is going to go up, just FYI. Oh my gosh, I, everything's going at an angle and I actually really don't want it to, but it kind of is. Uh, the 19th is have a bad day day. What is this? I'm not into that. The 20th is um, name your PC day. World hello day. Go for a ride day is 22. Oh, okay, I'm like what is this even saying? The 23rd is Fibonacci day. The 24th is buy nothing day. Stop. Girl, I'm buying everything. Uh, the 25th is day of giving. Also known as small business Saturday. 26th is shopping reminder day. 27th, pens and needle day. 28th is red planet day. 
The 29th is square dancing day? Okay, alright, alright. And then the 30th is computer security day because I can't be mad at that. Okay, so now this looks super busy and I love it. I like super into it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's I think it's pretty great. And if you want to know what I was writing on here with, I was using the paper mat paper mate flare pen um, in slate. I bought this. There's a 12 pack on the Office Depot website for like nine dollars. I want to say. I really wanted just like all black, but I just happened to see the slate ones and they were on sale, so I said okay. So yeah, that is all I got. My camera is about to die. I'll give you a little close-up of this um, so you can see what's happening here, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!